fans, and welcome to another exciting edition of Cammy's Comic Corner, top shelf selection for the month of April. I'm your host, as always, Cammy. Now, for the previous top shelf selections, I've been taking, you know, dipping back into the archives a little bit, but for this month, I bring you a little, little more recent selection from top shelf. So, moving on, let's get right into the pick. We have Gingerbread Girl by T Paul Tobin and art by Colleen Coover. Now this is a very fun little little story because we have this 26 year old girl named Anna Billups. She is just freckle, skinny, self-proclaimed tease, and she doesn't really like the term bisexual because to her it, it sounds like it's undecided or she's greedy. So you know she melts for a girl wearing an afro and then she likes the guys as well. Well we get her whole little story and there's a Tons of breaking of the fourth wall. Don't feel like, you know, that you're, you're being ignored. They include you, and they jump from narrator to narrator in describing this girl's life. And in particular, her long-lost uh, sister named Ginger. Now, the thing about Ginger is there are two explanations of her being. Um, one is that it's a figment of Anna's uh, imagination brought on by uh, the divorce of her parents at an early age. And two, her own, uh, her own explanation, it's the work of her mad scientist father who took a part of her brain, the Penfield homunculus, and, which is for, for touching, like that's the, it senses touch and all of that stuff, and grew it using whatever radiation and, and, and made it into her own sister. So it's a part of her, but it's her own sister. And if she, whatever she felt, her, uh, her sister would feel as well. Her sister being named Ginger. And the way they kind of portray it is as if she was a gingerbread. So we, the reader, it's up to us to discover and, and figure out for ourselves, is her sister real or is it a figment of her imagination? And going along on this story, we follow uh, different narrators, like I said before, whether it's a bulldog, a pigeon wanting some breadcrumbs, some thief that just robbed a liquor store, or the girl who uh, showed up first to her apartment, Chili. Chili was uh, one of two suitors that were going to drop by Anna's that evening. She set a date with both of them, both this guy and Chili, and whoever knocked first at her apartment got her for the evening. So Chili won, and so they go to art shows. They have a little girls' night on the town. And while all this is going on, we're trying to figure out, you know, because they throw all this evidence at us of both sides of the story. So just when you think, like, okay, well, it's obvious that she's just going a little crazy, the divorce from her parents really hit her hard, they come back with, oh, by the way, we got us, you know, a package in the mail addressed from Ginger, and so it's really entertaining because it's kind of like a who done it. Only at the end, you get to figure out what happened, uh, and it, they present you with so much evidence on both sides that it's a really fun little little uh, story and makes me want a sequel just to see, hey, um, can, can we get some more Ginger? Uh, you know, I, we we've heard both sides. Now it's up to us to decide. Uh, Paul Tobin really did a great job as uh, keeping me, you know, at the edge of my seat, wondering what's going to happen next. And then Colleen Coover's art, apparently she's been known for a little bit of her erotica work. Uh, I, I did not sense that at all. I thought this was just gorgeous art. And it really fit the tone of the story well, because you have this happy, freckled girl, and she's kind of a, a an enigma wrapped in a mystery, shrined and entrenched in a, in a, in a puzzle. Something the Riddler would love, I'm sure. Yes, if I had to recommend this book to anyone, it would be to the Riddler. Well, that does it for the Top Shelf selection for the month of April. If you want more Top Shelf goodness, you can check out www.topshelfcomics.com. You can follow along on Twitter, on Facebook, yada, yada, yada. And if you want the past reviews of Top Shelf selections, check out kamiscomiccorner.com. And then from there, you can see the weekly uh, reviews. You can hear Geeky Talkie every Wednesday. And then you can also go chat on the forums, leave us a review on iTunes, and then see what my favorite covers were every Friday. And then Book of the Month at the beginning of the month, and then Top Shelf Selection at the end of the month. So that does it for the selection for April, Gingerbread Girl. Go check it out. I think you'll be happy that you did. I've been your host, Cammy, and now I've got to go find my own gingerbread man. Uh, like, like, uh, like Anna, I gotta slap myself and they're nearby somewhere. Oh. So over there, you just heard it. Yeah.